Hundreds of thousands of Colorado and Wyoming citizens struggle to meet their basic food needs. I've gone three days at a time without eating because I was embarrassed to ask for help. I never could eat liver until I was so hungry that when I did, it tasted like a ribeye steak. About one third of Coloradans living in poverty are children. Hunger is especially hard on children who make up nearly half of those served by Food Bank of the Rockies. As an adult, it is easier to understand there's barely any food in the house, but when a child knows there is no food, that is hard to bear. More than half of those served through Food Bank of the Rockies partner agencies have at least one working adult in the household. Two thirds have monthly incomes below the federal poverty line. Choosing between paying for heat, rent, medicine, or food is a common dilemma many of our neighbors face every month. Hunger is a very real concern in our community, and Food Bank of the Rockies is dedicated to fighting hunger and feeding hope. With the help of generous donors, hardworking volunteers, and partner agencies on the front line of hunger, every year tens of millions of pounds of nutritious food reach pantries of those in need. Some tremendous growth over the last five years, which is reflective of the tremendous demand on the part of our agencies. But it's the economy. More and more folks are getting caught in the middle and more and more folks are getting caught uh, without enough to take care of basic food needs for their families. Partner agencies include food pantries, soup kitchens, low-income senior and child centers, foster families, and many other nonprofit hunger relief programs. Fighting Hunger, Feeding Hope is Food Bank of the Rockies' central distribution program. Food is procured, stored, and distributed to nearly 1,000 partner agencies providing hunger relief programs across the Rocky Mountain region. Food Bank of the Rockies' nutrition network includes programs addressing specific problems of hunger which impact people's physical, mental, and social growth. Children are especially at risk. Programs designed especially for children include Kids Menu, Kids Cafe, After School Snacks for Tutoring, and Totes of Hope Children. I was reading with a little girl, and we were reading the Berenstein Bears book, and the, the bears didn't want to eat their peas, and so I asked her if she likes peas, and she said no, and, and she told me that her little sister eats dirt. And um, so I looked at her and I said, well, that doesn't sound very good. And she said, well, my sister eats dirt when we don't have any food. And so uh, what uh, the food bank does here for the Boys and Girls Club is very, very important. And sometimes this is the only hot meal or meal that the kids have every day. And we've had um, some other children who have missed Kids Cafe and uh, they were upset because they wouldn't be eating, uh, they wouldn't have food for a couple of days. And uh, these, are, these are typical stories. Um, they are heartbreaking, but it is reality. Often overlooked or forgotten, seniors on low fixed incomes are also at high risk. Food Bank of the Rockies Totes of Hope Seniors helps meet their nutritional needs. We used to have people coming down and just wanting a can of soup to get them through, you know, the week or whatever, and um, we don't have that problem anymore. The food is extending the budgets of the, the, the people that are paid the least amount of money. I think we do a marvelous job of thinking outside the box of how do we get the food to the people that need it and this is one way totes of hope for the kids is one way we have many other programs too but the big point is there's so much more need and there isn't a lot more food coming down the pike the purchase food program ensures agencies can get the products they need uh, there was a lot of food that used to be donated in large quantities and it was no longer being donated and we decided to, to roll out a purchase program where we purchase uh, just basic food groups, basic commodities for the agencies and then we distribute that product at our cost. Food Rescue is another important program for Food Bank of the Rockies. So the product that we pick up is either, either surplus, prepared, unplated food and from the grocery stores it's, it's product that um, the grocery stores freeze for us uh, we pick up, we bring back here, and again, if we haven't spun it off to on-site programs, 
um, our agencies take that product back for folks in need. The donors of food are protected by any liability uh, under a law called the Good Samaritan Statute. And that protects the donor uh, from any kind of liability unless the donor donated the food knowing it to be tainted or knowing it to be bad. So if the donor in good faith donates the food to Food Bank of the Rockies, that donor is, is totally protected under the Good Samaritan Statute. Since 2004, the states of Colorado and Wyoming have contracted with Food Bank of the Rockies to distribute USDA government food subsidies to those in need in several counties through two programs. The two programs are uh, TFAP, which is an acronym for the Emergency Food Assistance Program. And that program is distributed to individuals that self-declare a need. The other commodities program is CSFP, which is an acronym for Commodities Supplemental Food Program. And that program is uh, designed to provide them a box of uh, supplemental food, supplemental to their dietary needs and uh, what they can get on their own. And our responsibility is to provide roughly, roughly 9,000 boxes per month uh, throughout Metro Denver. There are many ways to help Food Bank of the Rockies fight hunger and feed hope. Donations of food, funds, and time are always needed and appreciated. You know, we like to think that our business at Food Bank of the Rockies uh, is like a stool. We have three legs to the stool, and the three legs are donations of time in terms of volunteering. The second leg of the stool is obviously donations of food. That's what we do. We, we procure food, we warehouse food, and we distribute food to our agencies. And then the third leg of the, of the stool that keeps it balanced and, and keeps the stool, you know, sitting uh, the way it should is, is donations of cash. Um, it, it, uh, it, it costs money to keep our trucks on the road every day, uh, to keep our drivers on the road every day, to make sure that our employees have uh, a good benefit plan, to make sure that we can keep the lights on in the warehouse and the, and the temperature in the freezers and the refrigerators correct. Uh, so donations of, of time, donations of food, and donations of cash are the three legs of our stool. And we need each one of them in equal balance to really make the operation run correctly. At Food Bank of the Rockies, one does make a difference. One dollar, one can, one agency, one person, you. To those who support Food Bank of the Rockies, thank you. You truly make a difference in people's lives each and every day. Together, we can fight hunger and feed hope. Visit www.foodbankrockies.org 